What's up, guys? It's Hot Diet Seven and RCT bringing you another live stream. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, I couldn't wait for this chance to be doing the stream for you. Uh, I've been dying to do some more shoot 'em ups and stuff. And this one in particular, I've been I've been crazy doing tests and doing uh, different stuff because it's so um, basically action packed. And so uh, feature rich, the shoot 'em up, Darius Burst, that I just couldn't wait for it. Um, of course, I'm going to be rocking with the arcade stick for this one. And it's perfect for the game because it is, of course, uh, color coded. Let me bring the music down here. It is uh, color coded, and the color. Uh, kind of matches with uh, the way that the buttons are set up in game so that's very convenient helps you remind uh, remind you where the, the stuff is at the power up, the power ups and the shooting stuff etc um, yeah so basically I'm gonna dive in let's go into uh, just in case if I sound a little stuffy I'm still believe it or not after a month I'm still trying to get rid of the cold I haven't been very successful uh, work has been murder and it's not allowing me to heal properly so yeah uh, hopefully you won't have to hear much of me going on and you'll hear more of the amazing soundtrack from the game and the sound effects which you're gonna see or hear in a little while uh, let's go into the gameplay screen I want to mention or give you guys a heads up uh, later on possibly Possibly this is again. It all depends on my work schedule if I get that day off or not Possibly on 4th of July for those of you who Are not at the beach or doing something crazy fun um, I'm gonna be doing a stream basically that's gonna be uh, mostly about the uh, Steam sale basically all the games that I've managed to grab on this amazing summer steam sale that uh, will be ongoing until July the 5th so stay tuned for that I'll probably do that on the 4th of July uh, the time is uh, to be determined I'll let you guys know I'll tweet and and just uh, give you guys the schedule but there's plenty of games as you can see there from the list on the left side that I'm gonna be going through so yeah that's gonna be tons of fun there's a whole bunch of shoot 'em ups and a whole bunch of triple A games that I've managed to get my paws on so that's gonna be fun as hell so on the first part let me see here if I can do a quick tweet to let you guys know that I'm live I'm gonna do this I don't care I'm crazy I don't care I'm crazy. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is really quick, guys. I ain't gonna take much time. Hey, Afro Soul. All right, we got our first one in the chat. What's up, baby? Just gonna do. Can you do me a favor? Could you uh, send a quick tweet and uh, let the guys know that I'm live? I kind of forgot to do that. Uh. I'm looking for the pictures here and I can't find them. Okay. It'll be quick enough. Hopefully. There you go. Okay. Found it. Found it. Found it. So yeah, if Rowan Rice is out there, come on down, guy. You're gonna love this one. All right, so I send that in. Let's go down to the main event, which is. Darius Burst. Let me get Steam 
up and running. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be playing the arcade mode first. Because like I said, this has so many freaking modes. Plus the DLC mode, which is it's almost a game within itself. It's, it's so much in there that's it's crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, since this game, you can basically play the arcade mode, which consists of two screens, basically side to side, making a aspect ratio of 32.9. Now, um, we are already used to HD screens being 16-9. Um, this one is 32.9, so it's like two together. So it makes for a very wide, super wide aspect ratio. But I managed to do that, to uh, adjust that into the OBS, uh, albeit it's going to be a bit smaller. However, you're going to be able to see it in its full glory, regardless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this a little lower here. So hopefully you guys will be able to see the whole thing and not miss a beat. Now the only issue with having it this way is that I, it takes so much of the screen that I can't check the chat and a whole bunch of stuff so I'm going to have to move the chat to a place where I can actually see it because I can't see it from here. Probably put it in the, top, in the top corner so I can see what's going on. Alright. So I'm going to start with this mode first. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see. Everything is working fine, Afro Soul, on your side. Everything is looking good. Let me know if there's anything I need to adjust. Now the sound in this is amazing. Everything from the music, sound effects is just amazing. Now, for you to take advantage, or for me to take advantage of the 32 um, nine aspect ratio, it uh, the only one that plays in that mode is AC mode or it's arcade mode. So that's the one I'm gonna try out here. Then I'll return to the 169 with the other modes. So what we're what you're seeing right now is essentially the arcade perfect version latest uh, revision of Darius Burst. Now this one has a different name because I kind of missed this on the arcade. I haven't been in the arcade scene for such a long time. And this one is Darius Burst EX, another chronicle. Now, I don't have much background information on how this works out, but this alone, this arcade mode alone, has three different modes. Chronicle mode is kind of like a story mode, and you get to choose from a ton of different stages and stuff. You have original mode, and you have original EX mode, which is kind of like a... Um, a, uh, I guess boss boss rush mode or something like that but what I'm gonna do just to give you guys an idea of how expansive and huge this game is I'm gonna go into chronicle mode real quick and you have two options here for you to choose from you have infinite ships which is kind of like for you to play over and over again it doesn't store uh, your high score but you won't die you basically will have uh, infinite amount of ships and then you have the regular gameplay one which is the one I'm gonna be playing right now now check this out you have this planet right here and in the left side you have Ju Kunshi and all of those little dots you see there is a stage now if you move around you're gonna see whole bunch of other planets with stages <coughs> so 
So this one basically lets you start wherever you want. I'm gonna go... Let's randomly pick and choose one. Let's pick this one. Right? Now look at the huge amount of stuff you got here. Uh, each stage or each part has its own fixed rules. Which I haven't uh, dived into yet, but it has uh, some. Some of those stages have like this one, all items rule, which have like a strict amount of stuff that you can use in that stage, kind of like a challenge mode. And each and every one of them have different set of rules and stuff. So I'm gonna take the first one here, all items rule, uh, Citari C mode. Let's try this one and see what's, what's up. Now, after that, once you choose a level, you get to choose from a, a whole bunch of different uh, Darius models. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Glad to see you come around, man. You have the Legend Silver Hawk Burst. These are all different Darius uh, ships from different iterations and stuff. I think. This one is the most recent one. No, no, this is the, the second one. This is the first one. Oh, you only have two of these here. Okay. So you only use the classic Darius ships here. In DLC mode, you're going to see the huge amount of ships that you can use, plus the download content ones. Now the soundtrack on this is amazing. Now of course the game allows you to hook up two monitors. Of course if I had them, I would hook them up and, and, and go completely uh, nerd full retard. But since I don't, basically what you see is a more reduced screen to kind of fit the whole thing in there. But I can imagine this using two monitors, full size monitors, it's going to look amazing. Soundtrack is pretty crazy. I mean, you're gonna hear. Oh, sometimes you're gonna hear some nice singing. Then you're gonna hear some uh, crazy beats on another stage. It's very, very, very. Uh, it comes with a digital soundtrack, so you can listen to the tunes outside of the game, of course. And the bosses in Darius, the bosses, man, that's basically, that's it. That's what, what makes Darius the amazing franchise that, that, that it is. Going through the stages is one thing, but fighting the bosses, that's some other crazy outlandish crap, man. This one, you also have bi-directional, you can change on the fly. That helps a lot when you're gonna fight the bosses, as you're gonna be seeing shortly. I'm not going to stay with any mode in particular for too long because since I want to go over a few of the modes, I'm not gonna, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to have enough time to cover all of the modes, but just to give you a good idea how feature packed this, this shoot em up is, which is surprising given the, the, the genre, which usually, you know, it's usually light in content, 
But this game, man, this game delivers. It is. And if there's a game to play with the uh, with the joystick, with the arcade stick, it's this game. Now the color coded uh, spheres that you see here are to power up the different. Um, the different uh, powers for the ship. The green replenishes the shield. The red, I think, is the shot. And the other one is for the missiles. <coughs> yeah, this one. Basically, the first, the first Darius came not so long after. You know, the golden age of, of uh, shoot em ups with, with Galaga and Galaxian and stuff like that. It's a very old franchise. Of course, Galaga being a, a vertical, kind of like single stage shooter. And here they come the bosses. Check this one. And of course, Darius is very famous for having this um, fish and and shell creatures. Almost all of their bosses and enemies are some kind of fish form or lobster shrimp in nature. Really crazy. Yeah, well, I am going to continue because... Oh, no more ships left? Give me another one. Do I have to start again? Yeah, came over. This is the arcade cabinet. Check it out. You see? <coughs> but it's okay. Because what I'll do is... I'll go instead of Chronicle Mode, I'll take the original mode that way and since score is not going to be a thing that I'm going to be shooting for I'm going to use the infinite ship entry which will allow me to show you better the game now I'm going to play just one of these that has a predetermined uh, zone layout or stage layout and go from there now here you have more variety of ships see this one you have Everything from the first ship, from the first areas, to the next. And you have the ultimate version, which I think is this one. The third. Second, Assault. Genesis. Genesis, I think, is the first. I don't, I don't have the order down, but I know that... All of these are pretty cool. I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna use the Genesis one. Now, after I try this one out for you guys, I'm gonna go back to the regular 16.9. Uh, ratio so I can show you the other modes the CS mode, which is the meat and potatoes of this uh, game What I'm playing right now is basically an extra. It's basically Allowing you to play the arcade, you know completely uh, faithfully translated or ported What you're playing here what you're seeing here is the actual arcade So that is an amazing inclusion on itself And as you see by the ship that I chose, I have some additional power-ups there. And again, the music pumps you up really good. Ooh, 
This one you can change it around. This one has a more R-type feel to it. Because you can move your, your bits around. The only difference is that with this one, you don't have the superpower thingy that I was using in the beginning. Remember guys, later on, probably on the 4th of July, I'll be doing a special uh, Steam Sale, Summer Steam Sale, where I'll be featuring uh, the games that I managed to pick up during this year's Steam Sale. And believe me, I got quite a few. Uh, among those games are a few awesome shoot 'em ups legendary in, in status and I got a few triple A games so I think I'm gonna have plenty of content to be able to stream for you guys so Aaron how's it how's it going man we haven't been able to uh, align ourselves with the calls I know I, I, I saw a missed call from you, and I tried to call back, but I couldn't reach you. Alright, let me change this here. Um, give me the red, give me the red. There you go. Alright. I get it. I've been the same way, man. Non-stop. Oh, you can tell because I haven't, I still haven't recovered, man. It's been like over a month I've been sick and I still haven't been able to, to recover. Let me use the loose. Version. Now this one is going to be a pain in the ass because this one moves around a lot. And since I don't have like a burst version for this one, that huge beam that I use in the, in the first ship. Man, these bosses. Oh! Look at this. It is bullet hell before the bullet hell. A uh, cool thing about these bosses is that not only do they shoot a crap ton of shots, but they also physically go and, you know, take uh, swats at you and stuff. Thank God I still have enough shielding. Uh-oh. Woo! He is pissed. Alright. Back to moving around. Here he goes. Come on, you're almost dead. Come on, baby. Come on.
Now wait till you guys see the download content mode, the DLC mode. That's gonna drive me crazy. And he's dead. So yeah guys, that's basically a small sample of what the arcade mode and of course from here you have a predetermined path to get to the end boss I guess so yeah I'm gonna stop it right here so I can go into the 16 9 aspect ratio Now, again, for those of you who tuned in a little later, here's a screenshot of some of the stuff that uh, is going to be featured on the next stream in terms of uh, basically the stuff that I, that I managed to pick up on. I mean, I didn't pick up all of these here, but there's a few new ones here. Uh, Trouble Witches, which is a shoot 'em up awesome. Uh, Cinemora, which is also coming to the Switch. Skullgirls, the, f the, the, the complete edition with all the extra characters and stuff. And so on and so forth. There's a whole bunch of them. King of Fighters, uh, Metal Gear Solid. There's a ton, ton of games here that you're going to love. And hopefully I'll be streaming those soon. Uh, so yeah, let's get this going on. Let me take the layout out here for a second and set this one up to 16.9 and let's do some shooting. Okay, now let me turn off the 32.9 and get this one going on here. There you go. Now this one of course, like I said before, this is the meat and potatoes of the game. What you just saw was just a nice little bonus that you get within the game, the ability to be able to play the arcade perfect one. Now this is the one specialized for us, for consoles and PCs and stuff like that. First off you have CS mode, which is kind of like the story mode, the story driven mode that has tons of features in itself. But then you have the DLC mode. Now I'm gonna play for you guys, I'm gonna leave the DLC for last because that's gonna take a huge chunk of time while I go through the DLC that I've gotten for the for the game now believe me no 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 Aaron I'm telling you guy once you see the DLC on this stuff you're gonna go batshit crazy I mean the game in itself is good enough reason but the DLC this is the first time that I've seen DLC that actually makes fucking sense dude like each DLC that you get, a little piece of DLC gives you a ton of gameplay. You're gonna see in a little while. Um, but the game right now, I don't know if it came up in price, but I got it with uh, I got it in um, I think it was around 60% discount. But since the special uh, change each day is still ongoing until the July 5th, so you gotta go in and, and check what specials are in there. You gotta throw in this this name in the search. And just check out to see uh, what price it's today, you know, because they, they change from day to day. So, <coughs> sorry about that, guys. You're going to be hearing a lot of that. Unfortunately, my throat hurts like crazy. So basically here is more focus is going to take you on a predetermined path because it's uh, story mode of course. Uh, you get preset ship and then you get, I'm going to use preset so I don't have to go through uh, selecting each individual weapon and stuff like that. So.
Yeah, it's it's not even a cold, dude. It's I think it's more uh, more akin to uh, bronchitis, man. And it's uh, the extreme cold temperatures, man. It's it's killing me, literally. Every time I get a little bit better, I go back to work and. The other day, I even had to have my boss bring me back home because I was getting dizzy, man. Again, I cannot overstate how cool the soundtrack is. I mean, I'm a metalhead, but I appreciate the jazzy tunes and the different kind of uh, music available in this game. A lot of people don't understand how important music can be, you know, music and sound effects can be to a game. But ha having an awesome soundtrack, especially on the shoot 'em up, it's, you know, it gives it kind of like a high quality feel to it. Missiles are powered up, and the burst attack. Now, one of the games that I picked up is uh, actually a classic. I've had it in so many iterations, like everything from Dreamcast, GameCube. Oh my God! Even I have a PlayStation uh, copy that has like 16 shoot 'em ups which I used to play for you guys in, in uh, Hydrox Spin, but I actually got the Ikaruga, the Steam version of HD, and boy, is it amazing. Anthony, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude, I miss, I miss you coming in. How you doing, buddy? Hopefully you're doing good. And already we're in the enormous freaking crab of a boss it's not that he's a crabby bastard it's that he's basically literally a crab and here goes the attacks now this one is one of those bosses that I, I was mentioning before that not only shoots at you but you know takes swings at you which is a pain in the ass, and he comes really, really fast. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Gotta get out of here. Luckily, you get to shoot in both directions, so... You gotta take that freaking arm. Oh! Oh! Not good, not good, not good! Not good! I gotta get out of here. I'm losing my shield. The shot, no! Come the shot again. Ah! There, I broke the claw. And he's... See? He took a swing at me. And he's gone. Yes! Anthony, I was looking. I was looking at a few pictures on the, the, that Neo Geo book you're talking about. How much is it? How much does it cost?
I'm gonna see how far I can go with this in this mode and then from here I'll jump into the last part of the showcase of the game which is gonna be the DLC mode so for this I'm just gonna do a regular playthrough you know see I think you have like three ships unless you play the infinite mode but infinite mode I think is in the arcade mode where basically you have an infinite amount of ships and it stays that way until you finish the game but it doesn't record your high score holy crap I'm losing my shield. I gotta get it out of here. Ah, seahorse. Now the burst weapon this iteration is a new gameplay mechanic, at least as far as uh, Darius series is concerned. And the thing is that you cannot abuse it because it has a meter. And once you spend it, you know, you have to allow it to recharge again. Iron Fossil. Oh boy. In other words, big bastard shit, uh, big bastard fish. So far, I've been doing pretty good. Haven't died yet. Now that's another type of attack that I can launch. Kind of forgot I had that. Oh, the big ass shot. And he's gone. So I have 22 million points, still haven't died yet, which is good. To give you guys an idea, so that way I don't have to wait until we get there. So I start talking. You know, I don't have to start explaining it once I get into the mode. And you can basically see it for yourselves. The DLC in this game is basically fan service to the maximum. What they did, Tato, what they did was talk to these uh, all the incredible companies that are famous for doing shoot 'em ups or that at some point in the past have had a shooting game that has become popular 
and they've uh, managed to secure some rights to include some of the most endearing franchises from these shooters into this game. For example, there's a Sega pack, DLC pack, which contains, each DLC pack contains three characters from three different games of each company. In Sega's case, you have uh, the Space Character, uh, Space Harrier character, you have um, the, uh, Opa Opa from, uh, oh, what was the name of that game, uh, Fantasy Zone, and you also have the ship from, what was this, Galaxy Force. Now, it not only has the name and, you know, the character, but also, when you start, it's its own contained mode, basically. When you go in, you choose a character, let's say you choose the Space Harrier uh, character, not only will you see the character, or your ship will be that character, but it's gonna play in the same mechanics that that character used to play in its own game. The only difference is gonna be, you know, side-scrolling uh, in the style of this game. But it has everything from the music, the sound effects from the shots, everything. Everything is faithful to the franchise that is represented. Oh my god, I forgot to turn off Nightbot and it's starting to pester uh, Anthony. I gotta tell the night about to fucking chill, man. Given, guys, that this is a huge title and there are almost an infinite amount of stages, and for some reason I am not dying, which is good in itself, but it's going to take a bit more time. What I'm going to do is, as soon as I kill this boss, I'm going to go into the DLC mode. That way I'll have a chance to show off that. Take a laser sandwich, buddy. Go ahead, die. I know you're gonna die. Still haven't died? Jesus. Wow, this one is a bit. Uh oh. He's taking swipes now. Ooh, he's trying to launch freaking mines. Oh, I don't have any more juice. There he goes. What's up, bad luck? Thank you, thank you, Anthony. Sorry about the Nightbot stuff. And I got an achievement. Lightning Flamberg. I have no idea what, what that is, but... Yeah, Nightbot is being a pain in the ass. Promise to turn it off next time, guys. I just forgot. I didn't have much time to kind of mess with the, the streaming settings uh, since I came out of work this morning around 9 o'clock. I slept for a few hours. I almost couldn't get up. Uh, ask Afro so. Um, 
so yeah it's uh it was really a struggle to come on live for you guys today but i didn't want to miss on this especially since i promised and i don't like to go back on a promise so yeah now guys oh shit i actually completed the oh so basically what you do here is you have to fight several stages and bosses and once you reach the final boss the predetermined ones you go to the next stage so everything that i played up to this point which by the way i didn't die for some reason i didn't die so that's good um basically takes me to the next level so if i want to play i guess i yeah i get to choose now another stage with a different layout there's the one that i played right now this would be the next one which is pretty short you have two bosses and one stage this one has a stage and a boss this one has two bosses and two stages so it's pretty varied i'm gonna i'm gonna dive into this later on now since the moment we've been waiting for the dlc mode now you already saw the a the AC mode or the arcade mode, which had that amazing 32 uh, 9 aspect ratio. Bad luck since you missed that. Check it out later on YouTube. It's again it allows you to play the arcade perfect version. And since you came in late, let me show you here. Basically what I'm going to be doing probably on the 4th of July, which I know is kind of sad because most of you guys are going to be going to the beach or doing something fun. And yeah, I'm going to be streaming if I get the day off, that is. What you're seeing here is basically the Steam. And I'm going to be going through a whole bunch of these games right here that most of these I got on the Steam sale. Like the full version, completely deluxe with all the characters of Skullgirls. Amazing fighter, uh, trouble witches, amazing shoot 'em up. I played it for you guys in hyperspin at one point. Uh, Vanquish. Uh, let me see what else. Oh my God, there's so many. Uh, Cinemora, which is coming to the Switch. I'm gonna get that on Switch as well. Uh, Elite Dangerous, amazing. It's only online, but it's um, an amazing uh, fight sim. A uh, flight sim. I'm sorry, flight sim. Uh, Ghostblade HD. Another shoot 'em up. Revelator. God Eater. God Eater Two. That came in a special. Ikaruga HD, which is freaking amazing. I know I've played so many versions already, but this one, this one is really, really nice. Um, Rise of the Tomb Raider for the Triple A treat. And some more, some more stuff. So later on, probably on the 4th, it's going to be all about the Steam sale pickups. So hope you guys are, are around. If you're not, if you're at the beach or whatever, you can just check it out afterwards. I still don't know what time I'm going to be doing it. So it could be either during the daytime or the evening. I still don't know yet, but stay tuned for that. Now, DLC mode. Let's go in. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what actually made me pick up this game. When I saw this, I went batshit crazy. This is fan service at its best. You see here, I'm gonna go through what the game includes, which are the different Darius ships, you know, uh, the arcade ship, you know, Assault. You got Formula from another Chronicle. That's another variant of Darius Burst. And the original Darius Burst, which is uh, the, the, the ship is called Nex. Then you have Legend, which this one came on the PSP, as it says there. First iteration to go 3D. This is, uh, uh, it doesn't have the year, but it's pretty, it's pretty old. This one which I think this one is the one that came out for the Genesis. <coughs> this one also came out, I think, for the 16-bit consoles, but 
as you see there, it was double or triple uh, monitor cabinets, but, and the first one, of course, this is the first ship. Now, this is where it starts getting fun. After you get around from the, the different dairy ships, you get into the third party companies that I was talking about. Now these, I can't remember, let me see. I think this is from, I can't remember what company this is from. Ray Force, I know it was x -Lay. This one came out for the PlayStation one. And it was pretty, pretty awesome. But here we go, Sega. This is the one that I got. I got Sega, I got Cave, and I think I got a few stragglers here and there. But you got Space Harrier from the Sega, you have Galaxy Force 2, and you have Fantasy Zone, all with the music and stuff, right? If you press Y, it's gonna show you, you get to use the ship or the character with the same gameplay mechanics as the original game. The only difference is that it's gonna be side-scrolling. <coughs> and of course, the enemies and the replacement is gonna be Darius, but it's so cool that they go to these lengths to feature all of these. Now, this one is from, of course, Doran Pachi from Cave, which is the first one that I'm gonna try out. You have Death Smiles with the music and you have this one I'm trying to remember I don't know if this one was Ibarra Black no it wasn't Ibarra this one is another one I can't remember the name but it's from Cave and these are the ones that I haven't uh, purchased yet but I'm gonna get eventually I just wanted to pick up a few of them to see if they were any good but now that I know that they're good I'm gonna get the rest of them this is from Company Aiding which I've covered before in uh, Shoot 'em Ups uh, 101. Aiding, just like Raising, and uh, what was the other one? There's a few companies, but these two, Aiding and Raising, they've done a couple of uh, deals with Capcom to bring amazing Shoot 'em Ups, and this is one of their characters from one of the games. Now, these and Battle Gariga, of course, that you already know and love. It even has the music there in the background. And this one shows you, as you can see, you know, how the power-up system works, but it keeps it faithful to the original source. These, of course, I cannot use. From Capcom, you have Sidearms, Hyperdyne, which is a classic. You have Varth, which is another shoot -em up that's pretty awesome. And this one, which I'm trying to remember the game. I had the name of the game and I forgot. But anyway, that's that's in there. So that covers basically what you see or what's available. I'm gonna use the Doran Pachi one first so you can see. Well, this one doesn't change too much. Let me get let me get so you see Death Smiles. So you see how much it changes. If I choose this character, all right, it gives me specific stages for me to play and basically take advantage of that character. As you see in the bottom right part, it has their own, you know, they have their own power-up, so check it out. It's a weird mix of the original game and the Darius layout and stuff. Okay, now the buttons change. You have the first two buttons are for directional input. And check it out. They even turn into skulls.
basically, if you ever get bored of the main game, you can always fall back to these download content stuff and basically play two freedom ups in one. Thanks, buddy. It is pretty awesome. I mean, I know I, I sounded a little gushy, but, you know, as somebody who has followed these companies and followed their games, you know, this is, uh, I consider it's a lot of fan service for what I consider to be a, a pretty obscure title, at least here in the West. Darius Burst has been pretty popular in Japan, of course, <coughs> but not much heard over on this side, except for the release on the PSP, of course. Give me a boss. Holy crap. Here we go. the soundtrack of this of uh that's miles awesome. my skulls combo baby combo Before heading into the next zone, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play another character from another franchise. So let's go back to the main menu. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream with uh, Fantasy Zone uh, Opa Opa because it's so just like Death Smiles from Cave. This one is just so different in contrast to the game that I was playing, which is Darius. That just seeing it, just seeing it in action is is fun, you know, in itself. It's such a departure. So here we go, Opa Opa. And they actually drop the coins and you can use it to buy stuff in game I know there's a button that I press here to actually purchase the stuff let's say this one uh, 
Uh, which one do I purchase with? Which is the one to... Ah! Oh my god, look at all that money! Gotta pick up all that money! Ah! Give me my money. Give me my money. <coughs> well, the question is, which one do you use? So I should buy. There you go. This 16 something. Woo, laser, baby. Ah, look at all the money. Coins, coins, coins. Dropping no coins. Oh, yeah. I need two thousand more to do that. Come on, it'll be stingy. There you go. Original music from the original source, dude. That's Fantasy Zone. So on that note, guys, I'm going to end the stream. I hope you enjoyed the many wonders of Darius Burst. Hear the music in the background, very happy go music. And on that note, thanks a lot, guys, for being here. I appreciate uh, your company. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys soon to do the probably 4th of July uh, summer steam sale special. So, stay tuned for that. Plenty of really nice games, and uh, I hope you guys are there to check it out. If not, at least I hope you have a great 4th of July and you know, have fun and stuff. Uh, see you guys later. Take care.